Welcome back to Markets at Work Media. So Steph Curry recently said something at a game about him being tired of not like us, which brings up the interesting conversation point. Are you tired of not like us? Y'all really like to do this with music. When something is played a lot, y'all start saying it's trash. It's not trash, you're just tired of it. And this is starting to happen with Not Like Us. It's like in every video or post about Not Like Us I see at this point, everyone in the comments are talking about, oh, the song was never really that good. Like it's actually low key trash now, it's overplayed. I agree it's overplayed, but it's not a bad song. I don't know, when a song just gets too big, people are like, oh, it's bad, but really it's just other people are enjoying the music besides you. Kendra Lamar is really dragging this beef, bro. That's something I would say if I didn't have no common sense. Easy to say Kendra Lamar is going too far by dragging this on. He did a concert and now he's doing a music video, etc. When you think about what Drake did to Meek Mill, all that goes to the wayside, bro. Bro did a whole concert with Meek Mill memes. Can't see how Drake taunted Meat Mill for months after that beef and be mad at what Kendrick's doing. Let it go, bro. I hear some people are saying that they are tired of it. And let's keep in mind, Not Like Us has only been out for a few months. It's not like it's been a year plus. So I get it. It's a popular song. So a lot of people have wore it out, especially before and after the music video and bloggers took with it and ran and youtubers ran with it everybody is running with this song and it's blasted everywhere on the news outlets and all the drake fiascos going back and forth so yeah we've been over bombarded with this song with the beef everything up until this point so i get how it feels a bit of fatigue about not necessarily this song, but all of it collectively. Listen, for everybody who's saying that they are tired of hearing Not Like Us, let me tell you something. Y'all would not have survived in the 2000s, bro. Mind you, the song just came out last month. It's only a month and three weeks old and y'all already tired of it? Well, let me show you this. Because if y'all was around in 2004, this song would have made you want to walk head first into traffic. And what's crazy is they still play this shit everywhere, all the time, 20 years later. If y'all tired of this song already, then good luck when 2044 come around. The 2000s was full of songs that you could not escape from. Like Hot in Here by Nelly. To this day, white people still love this fucking song. Boy, do y'all remember when Snoop Dogg dropped Drop It Like It's Hot? Oh, and don't get me started on this. It's almost like 2004 was the year of songs that just haunt you forever. Not even kidding. This song was so popular that it damn near erased every other outcast song that came before it. Oh yeah, 2004 had another one too. Let's get it started by Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, inescapable. Do you remember when Britney Spears dropped Toxic? Boy, you would thought that this was the only goddamn song that existed on the radio. My point is, bro, that's how music used to be. That's how music is supposed to be. An artist drops a single, that single floats around the charts for weeks, months, damn near half a year sometimes. Then comes the album and then another single drops. That's what it is. That popcorn music then fries y'all brain, man. Because if this song is already getting on your nerves, then we need to have a serious conversation about the attention span of the average American. Bruh, I will never be tired of Not Like Us. Not Like Us. That for, of course it's like, I hate when people say they're tired of not like us. Like, oh, yo, uh, gosh, I'm so tired of hearing that song. Nigga, I am not tired of hearing that song. Stop playing with me. We, we, Kendrick is getting all of his sign, all of his glory, all of his credit, everything. Keep playing that shit back to back to back to back to back to back. I do not care, and I will dance and listen to it every single time. Like, it's my first time I freaking heard it, bruh. Just be, it's like... Oh my gosh, bro! Like after we did, like oh my gosh, you guys are still playing that night like us, like oh, mid, mid, bro. Like I'm not trying, like bro. It's not my fault. You listen to the freaking diss track on the first day, thirty times. You listen to the freaking diss track thirty times on the first day it was released, and we're supposed to not listen to it for the rest of the summer. Like, oh gosh, dude, I already listened to it. Yeah, that's your fault. I am still, li I listen to that shit so many times in the day, I don't care, I will never get tired of that song, that song is a straight banger, bruh, straight banger, so I'm tired of y'all freaking saying, 
right? He's stretching it like he needs to freaking move on. And it goes, no, the song is a banger. Now, with all of those different perspectives into account, once again, it hasn't been out that long even though it's a popular song. And the dude made an interesting point saying that, hey, this ain't nothing compared to the Drake and Meek Mill beef where he had memes on stage at the concert playing the diss track and it dragged on much further than whatever Kendrick is doing. So should people just shut up and let it ride out? Or do you feel like you're tired of the song too? Put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.